Hello, welcome, good day, and thank you for joining. Hey, hey, Gonzo, good day, sir. Glad you're here, and thank you for the soundtrack, as usual. Props to our soundtrack providers. And to my sound system for working properly. All right. So, hey, Altario, good day. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Glad you're here. What's the haps? 5.10.4 is out. We just, uh, previously to this stream, got it out there. Um, includes a couple of fixes for actually all lists, so check it out. Adjust your situation as needed with your local setup. Um, and yeah, we have deployed the 6.0 content is actually out there on the beta website. So, you know, check that out too. And, uh, you know, we're basically working on that full speed ahead, but there will be another small update that happens, um, you know, in between now and then when the new Tamriel rebuilt version, uh, drops, for example. Um, but yeah, so for today I thought, um, you know, I've been kind of working on a, on a personal project just uh, in anticipation of doing like a big playthrough right when we drop 6.0 it's gonna be time for me to really soak in the game and uh if you know if you've seen the stream before you know i like the abandoned flat player home mod and i've been working on a uh, um an adjustment to it using some some tweaks to the to the lua storage lua tweaks to the storage rather <clears throat> and uh so yeah what i'm talking about here is uh so this is my kind of effort to you know, preserve and make available the old classic mod. Um, and this is my version of it right here. Just fixed a couple script issues where I could, you know, um, and and put it up there more or less. Should work in vanilla Morrowind.exe too. Um, and then you got this one, which is um, the add-on that I made, which is, uh, you know, for me personally, when I'm playing, you know, um, and this is actually, I think, relevant to an ongoing conversation happening in Discord right now in the modding channel about, like, game mechanics and stuff. And, you know, I have to agree with what something Greatness 7 wrote, which is, you know, uh, too much loot is a problem of the game and not enough places, even with a talking mud crab. Yo, Joe Toho, welcome. Thank you for joining. Glad you're here today. Um, you know, just too much loot in Morrowind and not enough even with a talking mud crab with a very generous sales policy uh, it's not enough, you know, I'm actually been playing a mostly vanilla setup on my Steam Deck, and it's like piles of loot collecting in Caius Casade's house, you know, um, so anyway, this was my, and I'll turn, go ahead and run it real quick just to show it in action here, let's go ahead and uh, run, uh, the abandoned flat containers, though, was something I was playing around with, uh, some of the new features in OpenMW 0 0.49, <laughs> no, not the giant text, Um, but I'm speaking specifically about the activation interface. Wow, I cannot see my screen because the sun is blinding me. I'm just going to turn the... Uh... There we go. We can see a little bit here now. Ooh. And uh, let's just go ahead and clip our way through here. And uh, what I'm talking about here is... Actually, I have an example right here. Are these little Dwemer cubes I threw onto various containers, you know, and you just... you activate it and they will put like stuff of a certain type because for me it's like you have all this loot and then you got to either like drop it on the ground hopefully in a way that you can deal with at a later date when you feel like selling it or i don't know what do you do with that stuff <laughs> um so this was just me you know having having my home my abandoned flat home um and then you know boom i come in here i activate this and now my my alchemy ingredients have gone in there, just like in the GIF on the on the website. So, but what I did was kind of um, it was kind of lazy. I just come on now, spoiler alert. What I did was kind of lazy. I just slapped these cubes on various furnitures. Um, yeah, yeah, kind of like that, you know. Um, but I just kind of lazily slapped them on various furnitures throughout the the hidden storage areas when in reality what I wanted to do but kind of didn't have enough time was to take this this is the enchanting storage cell and I basically wanted to take this and make it bigger have all of like auto sorting devices be in here and uh you know maybe clutter it up with some fancy TR data and OAAB stuff um so I actually started working on that you know over the past week just after dinner 
noodling away, and I thought it might be cool to just do this on the stream and we could do some decorating and uh, hacking with the CS. So without further ado, I did get started actually on this whole effort. Let's see. No, I don't have the file open. Okay, so. <clears throat> just started a minor Lua refactor where I added a better way to handle weapons and stuff because the old one just kind of stuffed all weapons in one thing. Now we got different containers for each weapon type that we'll be using, but we're not going to hack on Lua too much right now. Instead, we'll go ahead and uh, fire up the CS. And this is a pretty new build of the CS, I would say. Always, if you're using OpenFWCS, you definitely want to be using... Um, you want to be using the dev builds for the new and the hotness features. Okay, uh, I need to load the right version. One of the things I do for my own mods to kind of make sure that I use like the consumer grade versions of my mods and not my hack together local versions is I take a folder inside the mod folder and I just name it underscore and I take the zip that people download and I put that in there and I use that. Just to make sure I'm using the same thing as all you people too, you know. Um, but when I want to develop, I just simply erase that folder. Boom, now I'm in Hackland. And that's what I forgot to do before. So let's fire up the CS again. And, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, back out. Screech. We want to get TR data in here. We want to activate OAAB data. Um, because my work in progress effort already includes some carpets and stuff um, from OAAB. And then this morning I thought, why not, you know, why not TR data also, which probably has some fantastic clutter. So, what I'm doing here is I'm just going through my total overhaul config and I'm gonna just yank this into here. This is what I want. All right, I think I should be set with that. Now, let's try this again. <clears throat> we want that one too, and we want uh, this one. All right, looks good. Let's go. So I started by basically deleting all of my changes to the interiors. Um, I preserved most of the activators, which are the Dwemer cube thingies. I'm still going to keep using those. Um, <clears throat> I deleted all my interior changes except for the enchanting storage. And that cell has been completely... Has been completely redone. Or so I thought. Hold up. And, oh, there we go, yeah. I'm just derping here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so just, so far, it's kind of ungracefully, perhaps, one giant room. Ooh. Ooh, we already have a problem here. This, uh, object that I added, which is just a, uh, a clone of an OAAB object. Let's see what's wrong here. Did I? What's this thing called? AFC D mid closet. Mm. Yeah, well, sure. I sure didn't save that. Whoops. <clears throat> Let's just re add that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe it was this one. Let's see real quick. Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Pretty nice. 
I figure why not? Okay. Clone it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. And actually, because I was, because I was bad, and I didn't actually. S okay, well, just some quotes. That's fine. I'll stage that. Create it. Oh, right. It's coming back to me now. I didn't save it because we don't actually, yo, we don't actually need, um, this needs to be specific for the type of weapon that's going in there, right? Okay, so let's take a step back. This is what I get for designing on an empty stomach. Yeah, okay, okay. So instead... We're going to clone this one. We're going to call it M-O-M-W-A-F-C. <clears throat> mm. And this is going to be a uh, light armor. It's a closet. Yeah. There we go. Oh my, yeah, there's all my stuff. Look at that. Light armor closet. Cool. And I'm just going to erase that other. We can erase you. Interesting. We're going to actually erase you too, buddy. And it needs to be uh, of a specific ID because my script is going to need to know that this is where light armor stuff gets plunked into. And just drag and drop that into there. Okay, and I'm just going to right hold right click to raise it up and I'm going to hit H to drop it. Versus trying to, I could probably like snap it there myself but instead I'm just gonna at least on the ground level I'm gonna just drop it ooh there we go alright now to position it uh, with the wall so hold shift middle click on the wall itself uh, hold control and right click I'm snapping against the wall there I think that's okay. And so my intention, okay. Eee, no, that's not quite right. So holding control and right click while I'm moving it again. There we go. That looks a bit closer to how I remember having it before I goofed it and decided to nuke it. <clears throat> and so my intention is then I'm going to put the put the activator on the shelf. I don't know. I wanted like some kind of a table, like a coffee table. To put it on there, you know, but I didn't want to like walk up to it and have to look down. I wanted something like at the player eye level. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I tested this in game, and this is pretty well eye level right here. So I don't know. For now, I'm going to go with this. And we got the light armor activator right here. Middle click it to select it. And just as with the, uh, the closet before, I'm just going to raise it up. Hit H. So, so gravity sets it into place or the virtual game gravity sets it into place and there it's just kind of on the it's on the wall now if my code is good <laughs> it should just work here but i think actually i'm going to need to change the container name here so what is this thing here closet okay yeah okay so this is going to get i'm going to delete this whoops yeah, I'm going to delete this one. This might be one I made when I was just directly editing the YAML like a crazy fool. And it's not the one that we placed there. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to edit the record. Get the name. Go into my script. I have a file here called IDs. Light armor. Here we go. 
Now it should just work. Yeah. But first, save it. Hey, good morning, Sector. Thank you for joining. Glad you're here, my dude. Just doing a little interior decorating today. Something a little zen. Or trying to go for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and copy local share open MW data containers to here. Hey, Santa. Welcome, dude. Hope you're doing okay today. I'm glad you're here. We're just doing some interior decorating for uh, one of my Morrowind mods. I guess this is technically an OpenMW mod, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. All right. <laughs> just remove those quotes, but not those ones. Okay. We haven't used anything from TR data yet, but I'm going to leave it in there. Um, some of my comments taken out. All right, and yeah, this is the new stuff. Okay, good, good. Um, so now when I when I go into this cell, I should be able to activate that. And it's gonna slurp up all my light armor. I'll go ahead and let's try this out, and I'll make Crassus Curio happy, and we'll do that. Let's do a fresh dump. Save what we got. And I may be crazy, but I will maintain that having a version controlled YAML file is a great way to see kind of the changes in your mod, right? Like it gets a little gnarly when you're looking at stuff like this. Um, but if you're making small changes one at a time, it can be pretty useful. All right, let's, so let's just jump in there real quick. Hey, I've done this before. Cool. All right, I gotta change the spawn point. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did we lose my? Okay, so this is interesting. Yeah, I must have goofed. Whoops. It has the original room on top of my on top of my changes. Not sure what happened there. Oops. <clears throat> That's really weird. Um oh. Am I uh well, in any case, let's just see if my thing works, right? If my script works. Let's get curio mode here, and by that I mean naked. Almost naked. I'll keep my clothes on. Naked of armor, and we'll click that. Nope, nope, didn't go. Nothing in there. Okay. Womp. Okay, let's put that back in the CS and see what happens. Honestly, not sure why my stuff came back. That seems a little alarming. I suppose we could check if there's deletes in my content file, right? Oh, Sector, by the way, I meant to mention for those MRs that are working on the CS dialogue issue, if you want to send me a link to those, and I'll definitely build it up and see if it satisfies the fix. Because that would be really good to have that come through, right? Okay, let's check out my cell. Hope for the best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. Wow, they're back. Uh, hmm. Well, only one thing we can do here. Delete them again. That's really weird. So, yeah, just middle click, delete. Middle click, 
Control middle click. Delete. <laughs> I don't want to get too crazy there. What is so wait? What is this? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I see the old room. Oh boy, what a mess. Delete. That was a middle click and drag. Get the little cube selector going on there. Delete. Delete. Much as I like the lights, delete, delete, delete. And there's probably some ceilings that gotta go too. Look at this. <laughs> oh man. Wait. No, no, no. Okay, we're good now. This arch doorway though. Pretty nice. Hey, cool, Sophia. Welcome. Good day. And I'm glad you're, yeah, it's, I figured it would be a chill Saturday where we just decorate the room and you guys can tell me how to set up my warehouse. <laughs> and, and we can check out the cool, all the cool content that, uh, you know, Tamriel data and OAAB data brings to the table, right? Like 20 years after this game's coming out, we still got fresh assets that are beautiful. Ooh, I mean, look at these carpets. So yeah, I'm not really sure why the cube didn't work, but that's, you know, that's coding. Maybe we'll do that later. That's Lua Mancy. Uh, okay, so I have the light armor is going to go there. Um, and so what I was thinking, right, is for, the and, and again, this is my, you know, it's my personal tweak to the total overhaul list, but I mean, it's going to be available on Nexus and GitLab and all that. But uh, what, what I wanted to do was so I would have these big closets for each of the kinds of armor each of the kinds of weapons um and then like you know thrown weapons arrows maybe i would put in like a bucket let's see what kind of buckets we have available i'm gonna uh so view new view i'm opening up like a new window because for my workflow on the CS, what I like to do is I have a main window that I'm working in, right? I'll have a, a, a object list here with maybe a more advanced filter string. And then I'll have like my, my 3D view that I'm doing stuff in. But then in another window that I usually have on my other monitor, I have uh, the OAAB data demo cells open and, and just other object lists open so I can kind of look at things. Um, now, obviously, I can't stream to you from both my monitors at once, so we're just going to tab between them. Excuse me. And so to begin, we've looked at these demo cells before, but they've ex actually expanded them by quite a bit here. Um, we're not going to go into all of them, but I highly recommend if you go to the Nexus Mods page for OAAB data and you get their dev tools download. And you can get a dev build of the main ESM and this OAAB Cells ESP plugin and load it up uh, alongside your work. And, and you can see all the good stuff. So right now we're just going to jump into the, I think this is the one we want, OAAB Clutter. And I'll just zoom in here. And you'll notice some purple over there. I believe is the book art texture issue. Because you see the vanilla engine will read textures basically out of any subfolder as I understand it. So book art is typically in, in mods put in a slash book art folder and that's what OAAB data does and that's why this doesn't load. I think there's an open issue about it. Anyways, just had to cover that purple stuff. I'm sure you all saw it. I could not see it. So anyway, here we are with the clutter. Um, what I got here is like pretty simple, right? This is the basics, you know, fancy carpet maybe, but like, I don't know, flower pots, wall mounts. I mean, look at these. These are, I don't know if I want, actually want this right there, but I mean, these are pretty cool. Maybe this one right here. I killed enough of these. I feel like I need something mounted on the wall. You know, maybe we could get a little uh, enchanting ritual set up going on. Maybe, ooh, I really like that's a nice layout here. These crystals. This must be like a what? Info memory stones. Okay. Hmm. As you can see, quite a few rugs. I spent a minute here kind of considering my rug selection. Witcher art. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, 
like that one picture picture that uh um the little girl drew for Geralt if you played that game Billy Bob Slaughterfish <laughs> And this is where I found that nifty closet, by the way, just over here in one of these. Um, but I wondered, as also TR data, what do they have for us? Oops. Let's do TD, I believe, is there? No? Help me out, Deltario. Help me out. <laughs> What's the, is it just T underscore? What's the prefix for Tamriel data stuff? I think this is it, right? TR, we got a lot of. Oh my. And I think we want um, to limit it down to this types of static. There we go. Thank you so much, Altari. I appreciate it. Yep. T underscore. And here we go. So we got just a bunch of statics. Um, maybe we can do like T splat table splat. Okay. Well, this actually doesn't do me any good over here, though. Let's go to the other window. We can actually close that one. Give me the object search. There we go. Boom. Thank you. That's a very good filter. We will do that. Let's get all the furniture here. Fern. Excellent. Okay, cool. Tapestry. I'm so tempted to just <laughs> dartboard. Okay. I can't resist. I know I've seen this in the wild. Pretty good. All right. You know what? Now that I plopped it out here, I can't not put it on the wall. So let's go ahead and uh, shift middle click on that one. And let's see how well we can uh, control right click. Movement is a little awkward. Whoop. Helps if you hit the right keys. Okay. This is where it gets a little spicy. Control right click. Ooh. Hey. Nice. Like a glove. Let's uh deactivate that. Hey, alright. Let's um let's make it bright. I need to see. I got the pesky sun. Looking good. That's staying there. That's clutter. We officially got some clutter. Oh, Smalio, I just saw your SpongeBob idea. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah. You know, fireplace stand. What's this? Yeah. Okay. Literally something that goes by a fireplace. All right. Might be interesting to see the model path here for some of these. Got some trophies here. Just for fun, let's see. Ooh. You know, again, I feel like now that I plopped it out here. Middle click the wall again. Control, right click. Snap, rotate. Go back here. Do we once again fit like a glove? All right, cool. I mean, not perfect. But it's also not the right wall. Shouldn't matter. They're the same for alignment purposes. Okay. It's a very tricky one to get perfect. This is where we need, I think, like vertex snapping or something. Because this sticks out a little bit. I think it's maybe aligning right, like, or snapping rather to this. There we go. I think 
think I got it pretty close. Yeah, yeah, okay. Up a little bit. Neat, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to keep all of this stuff, but while I'm plopping stuff down, if it looks good, might as well toss it on the wall. Um, and yeah, so it's a big, so I was going to line this wall with the closets and, and have there be, you know, generous amounts of clutter in between, right? Like I don't, in the old abandoned flat enchanting storage, they're all very, it's a very small, like claustrophobic room. You know, you get down there and it's like, oh, wow. Okay. I guess this is where the stuff goes. And I wanted this to be more like a chill place. I mean, we could even put a pond in here what, because why not? I always wanted a fountain at my house, you know, um, why not have a fountain? You know, I wonder if there's a fountain. All right, let's scroll past all these trophies here. Ooh, that is a nice rug. That it might replace that one. Really ties the room together. Yeah. Away. I mean, that was just 17. I just randomly picked one. Let's pick another one. 20. Feels like a good number. Ooh. So many good rugs. Wow. Ooh. This has become an interior decorating stream. Wow. I've got like decision fatigue now. like this one I really wanted like a, a round or oval one to go right there right so I got this long runner which is just two stuck together coming down from the hatch which I do need to reposition the entry point and then I wanted yeah like a round rug here to open up to the rest of the room we'd have like the wall of closets here maybe like I know, right? I'm not really much of a designer, too. I'm no, like, Glitter Gear or Seeloff or, you know, any other epic person we got out there who does good work. The list would take the entire stream to name, basically, but my name would not be on it. <sighs> but, yeah, so, like, the smaller containers maybe here and, like, I don't know. Because this is almost too big of a room, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh... Maybe I could shrink it, the room a little bit, um, because yeah, I think I think it's actually a fine size if I have enough space for just stuff and like maybe the next closet can go right here. Yeah, so and four. gonna now search for my own stuff also okay we'll be up here at the top perfect and so what I've done basically here is I've said I want things that are you know Tamriel data and static thank you Altario that's good feedback by the way yeah I think I think so too I think I kind of like went off the deep end here with the room size so we'll pull we'll probably dial that back uh, a little bit. Um, okay, well, so for now, I have, let's see here, got the containers and stuff that I made in the YAML ahead of time. Light armor closet that I replaced already. Where's the medium armor one, though? Here we go, medium armor container. <sighs> so perhaps something like Taking a step back before we go way off the deep end here, you can have something like the entry hatch, a foyer here, and then perhaps, uh, you know, topical rooms connecting from the foyer. So like the armor room with the armor closets, the weapon room with the weapon closets. I think I like that approach a lot. So we're just gonna delete a bunch of stuff now, actually. We put this stuff on the wall and it's going bye-bye, including the thing I just dropped. Boom.
I don't think this room needs to be too big. Actually, I think I want to replace this with a corner. This piece right here. Or, let's do another or. And what is this? In C stone. In C stone. Yeah, and I want this. I think I want this corner instead. Let's um delete that, and we'll throw the corner down and see what it looks like. <laughs> Not exactly where I wanted it, but I'll take it. There we go. We are aligned that away. Let's get aligned this away. Oh. Yeah, I think this totally works, right? Like this room, you know, not a closet, but also not a warehouse. I dig it. So off with that one, off with those. Right, and then this is gonna be, so yeah, it'll be kind of a, like this, let's drop another corner here. What would it be, Sector, if you're familiar or anybody else, what would it be if I wanted to, like, have an object, but, like, so I place this one and it's rotated the wrong way. So, like, like I have to sit here and I have to go, okay, let's make it align right. Um, what is it called when we have it, like, pre-transform to face the right direction? Is that, that's a thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, Gonzo, right? Yeah, so I mean, that's what I'm doing now, right? I'm doing the axis snapping, but if I want to like drag one already faced the right direction, is that a thing that people do? Because um, it gets a little tedious to constantly have to, like I might place a bunch and then transform them all at once, which looks fun. Cool, okay. And then uh, off with this. Off with this. Control, middle, click, and delete. Let's get right here so it's not awkward when I place it. There we go. Or less awkward, I should say. A middle click and a shift middle click. And we'll do the good old axis snapping we were just talking about once again. I mean, at least it's easy to do. Very good. I actually like this pole here, too. It works out for the foyer, I think. We could put a coat rack there. Oh, wait a minute, but we don't have it. Oh, <laughs> yikes. I don't have it on this side. Okay, this is where we have to go back now to the clutter scene. I'll close this out because I think I remember seeing just a post static. Maybe we can toss that up. No, that was in the common. Whoop. Common cell. Here we go. I'm also not totally married to this in C style too. 
kind of just is what the enchanting storage was before, and I just kept building on it. Um, right. So what have I done and gone and done here? I have, uh, okay, so I have uh, this piece, which is uh, entry and doesn't have the pillar. I guess I need a corner without the pillar, if that's a thing even. Oh, we just have the, okay. Yeah, we. it is a thing. Stone room corner. What are, what are that? What is this? Stone room entry. Oh, wait. That is a corner. I'm a little confused about what things I'm using. Bear with me. No, okay. This one. Stone corner. Okay, goodbye. Stone room corner. Naming is hard, I get it. I won't judge too much. Naming and also reading. In my case. That's better. Okay. It would have been nice to have the pillar there. Maybe we can revisit that. I was starting to like that idea. Then again, I don't want to go too overboard. starting to look like a f actual entry room and the coat rack's just going to have to go somewhere else. I don't know, Gonzo. Um so uh, this demo cell here is pretty Oh wait, here we go. Look, look. Yes, the answer is yes. The coat racks have a home. Fear not, everybody. Now we just need coats. <laughs> I also really wanted to integrate this somehow in there like <clears throat> I noticed in Skyrim that there are scripted bookshelves that can take the books from your inventory and stack them nicely on the, you know, on the shelf. Um, and that would be really cool to have. I'm not sure if that's doable with MW script. I seem to recall even Urvirus Legacy, I think, has like a sorting book shelf. Um, it would be cool to do that kind of thing. I should look into how they're doing it. Possibly more mods do it. But yeah, here we go. So this thing is our pillar. That'd be in C. Of course, it doesn't have a totally consistent name. Hmm. Didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. Okay. I'm just going to cheat. I don't want to make my filter any uglier. Wood pillar. Hmm, interesting. Wouldn't... Well. That could kind of work. Obviously, the stone works better. But, you know, with a good wood re texture replacer, that would probably look pretty nice. This is like, a, as I understand it, this wall and these pillars, I think, are like barely, if at all, used in the vanilla game. So you don't see a lot of really nice texture replacers for them. There, obviously, there's met, and met is good. Okay. Um, so we got uh, an unfinished corner here, which I should finish before we start thinking about the pillar. Bad, bad designer. Here we go again. Okay. Yeah, it would really be nice to have some key binding 
to change the kind of transform mode I'm in. Then I can be a bit quicker. Okay. So the question is now. Does this just become like a hallway now with like rooms branching out the side, right? So looking from above, it would be like a hallway like this. Get all this, whoa, whoa. Get all that extrania out of there. Since it's no longer the way, I will leave the middle. So I'm thinking, foyer with some fancy pillars for the coat racks, a hallway that empties out right in oh you can't <laughs> I'm like trying to draw it with my hands we have the hallway that empties out into side rooms bigger more comfy versions of the prior enchanting storage but not you know warehouse like I was going for okay I like it and the question is let's go back to our demo cell And the question is, we, we want it to be a hallway, right? Yeah, kind of like this. Yeah. This piece. What is this one? Stone Hall Small. That's the one. Okay. So, off with you. Off with you. Let's see if this works. I have no idea if it will. Oh, let's open up this link for posterity here. Thank you, Gonzo, for bringing that up. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's relatively new. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool one. You can drag and drop them into the filter box, too. You know, I personally like to use regexes like a maniac, but you can do that. Pretty nice, yeah. Um... All right, where, what, what was I doing? Okay. Should be aligned. Close enough, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there we No, no, wait. Okay, so now we have a problem. But we can solve that with the archway piece, I think. Let's go back here. Got a couple nifty archways, and I was already using uh, this one, and I think for consistency I might use it again, but this arch is pretty nice. Mm. We can see a little bit better here. Yeah, you know, um, I'm thinking for just for consistency and because I just love this piece, we're going to do another one of those. And we're going to slap another ore on there. Here we go. Getting crazy now. And actually, too crazy. We need Emacs, it's so crazy, all right. There we go. And that, but that one actually is the NC, in B. So it's not even that. There we go. Stone square. Oop. 
Whoops. Whoop. <laughs> Yikes. Oh boy, I hope this is going to work. This is awkward. Well, shucks. <laughs> Doesn't quite align perfectly. We got that art. My number one dread of Morrowind interior design. Maybe I'm not alone, or maybe I'm just terrible at design. But when you make a room, and then, like, at the end, you find a piece, or maybe a little bit before the end, but it's usually towards the end for me, you find a piece that doesn't line up. Okay. Maybe not all is lost. Maybe we go back to our demo scene here. Maybe I am missing a proper static. What am I doing here? It fits fine here. End cap? No. We need another room entry piece is what we need. This is wrong. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's going to give us what we need, I think. Let's plop it down there. Cool. There we go. Snapping into place. Ooh, I think it's going to work. Yeah. Lots better. There we go. I knew I was just derping. So, cool. Okay. Now we can... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, this is, this is, oops. There we go. Now, one room down. Okay, cool. Now we can take a moment. Maybe think, consider some clutter here. Um, and, you know, I'm not averse to, say, tossing some Daedric clutter in here. Tossing some, you know, Dwemer clutter in here. I think we need to look at those OAAB test cells and just pick some nice stuff out of there, really. Um, but let's move this now. We can finally tie the room together in this way. Okay, I'm going to come back to this, but I, for now, that's the concept I'm going for, right? A pillar right there, maybe a pillar right here, maybe a table of something in the corner. Let's see what our options are. And let's save, too. Wow, design is hard. I've been doing this for almost an hour already? Yikes. I feel like I haven't done really anything. <laughs> All right, uh, back to the prefabs. Okay. Um. So, like, it, you know. Hmm? Snap to reference. That's what I've been doing this whole time, my brother. For posterity, let's open up the link. Anytime you see me click something and turn it yellow, and then move something relative to it, that's the reference snapping. Or this. 
Snap to reference. If you want to snap instances relative to another instance, you can select a target with shift middle mouse button and add a snap target. And that's the yellow thing, so check it. Normal target, white. Snap target, yellow. And then, yeah, when I hold, for example, control and right click, I'm uh, grid snapping relative to this other reference here. And that's how I'm lining things up rather precisely. So yeah, I'm not averse to having differently themed clutter, right? Like this is kind of an OP cheaty room that I'm just doing for fun. Dropping objects in when you have a target doesn't drop it next to it. No, I don't think so. Let's see. Wait. Hold up. Right. Wait, what is this one? Stone Hall Small. Okay. Yeah, it's always relative to where the camera is, which is... I don't love it. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind, right? Like, as soon as... So if I'm dragging it, as soon as I bring it into the scene, now it's rendered, right? And I can even, like, hold shift and maybe snap it. Ooh. Huh. Uh, <laughs> as Todd intended. Well, I did something here, though. Check it. Like, that was a... Because if I... Hmm, yeah, okay. So I was holding a... Yeah, what did I... Wow. What, um, and then I hold shift. Wow. I am kind of snapping it when I drop it. Is this, like, some undocumented behavior? Wow. <laughs> I mean, cool. Totally cool. Okay, well, we got to delete the rest of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, it just works accidentally in a way I didn't expect it to. Still cool, though. Um, let's move those to the side there because we need now we need a way. Okay, so this next bit of the hall is going to have to have, I think, it's going to be a four-way piece, right? So let's go back to the... It's going to have to be open, but still have the columns, right, on all four side. Here we go. Is that this one? No, that's this one. Yeah, here we go. And I think it's actually called Stone 4-Way. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm blind. Okay, so that time the one weird trick with the holding shift didn't do the same thing. So <laughs> I don't. Let's try it again here. Drag shift. Uh. So I have no idea what I did. I really don't know. But yeah, that's a workflow item. I think that would be pretty good. Have. Uh, some way to drop it intentionally next to something. <laughs> Excuse me. Breakfast is coming back up in burp form. All right, line it up. Nice. I always doubt myself. So this, yeah, this is going to be the entryway. All right, I'm going to stuff this one away that way a little bit more. Line it up. All right, it's a hallway, folks. Yeah. Definitely need some dart boards, but I feel like also this is a risky hall to... Realistically, this is a risky hall to play darts in, right? You're not going <laughs> to... You're not going to throw darts from two feet away or or shorter of a distance. All right, we'll plunk this one down, and then we won't go too far down the hallway rabbit hole. There we go. All 
right. Yeah, it's all the way. We can, uh, let's see here. No. <laughs> I just saw what you wrote there, Gonzo. No, sometimes it doesn't just work. But hey, in other cases it does, right? I feel like this arch doorway looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'm plunk that one down there because I just can't resist it now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it's a real shame that those paintings don't work because I feel like this is a great place for some paintings here in this hallway. Maybe we could have some like paintings indicating, you know, armor here for the armor room. Yeah, this is going to be armor room right here. And so another thing I didn't mention that I wanted to have was some kind of activator somewhere. Probably won't be a Dwemer cube also. Maybe it'll be a Dwemer computer thingy. I love using those. Um... But you activate it, and then just being in sort of this hallway or in range of the rooms would auto-take the things from your inventory. I still haven't decided if I'm going to do that, but that's like super lazy mode. <laughs> and it would be off by default, because that's a little... I definitely wouldn't want that all the time. Otherwise, it would just be annoying to come in here. So, all right, taking a step back to here now, to the foyer. So, Another thing, too, I thought there was a... Maybe I'm missing something, but I thought there was a marker for where the player spawns. What's that thing called? We should fix that and then decide now. Let's start cluttering up this room and, and this area. I feel like I want planters in there. I want flora. I want beautiful stuff in here. Um, a little fountain, something like that. Let's go back to here. And I don't think we're going to find this in the common cell. So let's actually close this up. I just can't help it. I want to open this one up. Not quite as extensive, but who? Okay. And I don't think I'm going to throw any of this in here, but this is a new one that was added. For sure. Shows a nice variety of... Yeah, it's a little awkward to put a tree inside, I think. I am tempted. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. This could almost work. In like a bigger room, but no. What do we got here? Flora. This is another one. Whoops. I don't think is too extensive. Flora. Shift C A. Eh? Yeah, just a general idea. Ooh, see. This stuff works in a Telvani interior. For sure. In this kind of, you know, common interior. I don't know. Well, it might be awkward. What is this? Flora tree. Okay. So. And actually, we're going to go ahead and. Oops. Going to go ahead and yank this out of here. Put that in there. And we're going to make another filter here out of it. See what this gets us. <laughs> wow, nothing. There we go. 
I guess we're doing this. <sighs> I'm sure there's a better way to do this filter. Or, 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 and. <laughs> rug huh okay yeah barrel okay broken barrel yeah okay cool I'm just getting distracted now plank um so let's see here Is it back to clutter? Let's go back to clutter again. And make it bright, because I cannot see. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Glass case kind of thing, you know? So, like, yeah. Maybe a few of these would even work pretty well. chest Whew. kegs I know me too very tempted to stick one in there even though it's just the foyer I mean, it wouldn't be a Morrowind interior without a bunch of bookshelves, right? Oh, man, super bookshelf. Wow, is this a... <laughs> wow. Oh, fancy. Oh, I should... Oh, I deleted it. Okay, I'm going to make sure to use this one. I don't know. All right. Well, let's start simple, right? What? It's like a chest that's also like a bench, kind of. I kind of like that. You could put like a flower pot on it. Yikes. <laughs> Close. I think it doesn't actually clip, though. All right, all right. One thing down. <laughs> Let's go for the display cases since, you know, we have agreed that they're great. And can't think of anything else really toss in there. Oh, no. Yeah, we're just, you know, I'm frankly looking for some input here. Um, But for now, I'm going to plunk one of these guys down in there. Display. Yeah, that's nice. There we go. Hit the H key. 
gravity align it. I know me neither, really. I, yikes. Anytime I played Animal Crossing, I always had like these sad houses, and I'm like seeing other people's stuff, and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so I wonder, is this like a, a proper activator even? Lights, good call. Yeah, okay. Good, 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 good call. This is where my hacky filter is not going to be very helpful. So. We're going to write a new one. All right. And... We want to search. Yeah. Ooh, now you're talking. Like, hit the button, the, the bookca bookcase moves. Hmm. So, like, should we have... Should the, the fancy arched doorways be exposed by default at all? And, like, maybe the player has to have a special item on there. Man, wow. <laughs> <clears throat> wardrobe activator things oh um they're coming back they're an essential part of the mod in fact um we just for now have have nuked them but i uh to answer the question about why i removed them from their prior places because they were previously just kind of randomly thrown throughout the abandoned flat um i was sort of in a rush to like make the thing work and now i want to i want to concentrate the fancy storage devices to this room right we're expanding the enchanting storage dividing it up fancying it up um so yeah they're gonna they're gonna go back into place once we build the other rooms up and now i'm thinking warm and inviting archway should this be hidden and there's like some magic that we need people to have in order to, ooh, that's an idea to sit on right now we need lights before i get too distracted id okay and so we're going to do T underscore. So we get the TD stuff. And so the query or TD or AB. And TD or AB. And record type light. Seven hundred and eighty seven <laughs> records. Wow. Okay. There has got to be an A B cell that lets us see lights. Is there not any in here? Uh view Imperial. Oh, it doesn't really look Okay, we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way and plunk them in here and see what looks cool. Oh, that's actual light. Source. Yeah, that's all we're going to get with this query. Oof. Back to the filter board. We need another. Or. Is this even going to work? I don't know. Eight hundred sixty-three records. Are they all okay? We got some activators here. Okay. This query stinks. This one stinks too, I think. Yeah. Mm, wait. Uh, 
Okay, right, because some of those things are light emitters too. Okay, so maybe my initial query wasn't to to so terrible. I'm going to go ahead and toss that back in there. Thank you for the sanity check, Altario. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Makes it a little bit tough to find things, but I guess that's half the fun, right? Insert Todd emoji. All right, um... Let's zoom out a little bit here. Yeah. So the question now is that we have actually managed to find lights. What kind of lights do we need? Do we want hanging from this? I've seen so many cool scenes with like hanging lights. I feel like it's got to be something like that. That's a pretty nice lantern, I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, you know what? It helps to also consider we've got model animation files over here and I think right like something with a NIF like that likely to be visible Ooh, wow that's pretty good I did slap the HD version of T uh, TR uh, TD files in there so Looking nice textures for sure. Might go with a lantern. Do they got the green lantern here? Yeah, here we go. Okay, these are si size differences a bit. Or no, no, maybe it's just the, the number indicates the, the charge. Wow, so many. And the radius. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for that tip. Lantern blue. You know, I want a bit I want a big radius. I want it to be like wild, especially because I'm using Waza light fixes, and that makes the colored lights a bit more intense. Um, so yeah, I want a bunch of different colors, and I think I want these paper lanterns. But I also want to get a chance to see, you know, what the OAB data set tosses into the mix too. But I really like these lanterns. I'm like, and I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna have to find a place for this one. Maybe in the, maybe in the hallway. Doesn't totally fit the style, but also, hey, it's common. You know, we can make anything work really let's go up a bit <clears throat> excuse me light boots <laughs> yes a lighthouse here we go eh? <laughs> I couldn't resist but no that's not what we want Ooh, light hole cool that's pretty good I know, right? Okay. Getting carried away with light rays. We'll look at that later, maybe, if we have, like, a crack in the ceiling or something. So these don't have models. They're light sources. And here we get into the, okay, candles. I know, I'm not really either small. Don't worry. We'll get there. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, it's just a candle, a black one, it looks like, yeah. B-L-C-K. No, you're not, I know. Why isn't it done already? Okay, black with the yeah, uh, red flame. Wow, so much choice. Oh. <laughs> I think, though, the overall, right, like... 
the overall idea of not having one giant warehouse room is solid. And just the clutter is going to be, the cluttering will be ongoing, I think. And, uh, and this has actually been pretty fun. Ooh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so there's got to be paper lanterns in there for sure. Um, I wonder what the S underscores that scripted maybe. Yeah, it has a script. <laughs> Crazy. I like that color. It's a bit intense, but I like it. Oh, shoot, I love these. Little tube things. Neat. And they got the... the Little chevron arrows indicating their speed. That's cool. That's helpful. Glow bug jar. I'm getting way off the deep end here. But that's not right. Whoa. What do we got going on here? Huh. That's worth following up on. Sad. Hmm. Scamp candle. Oh my. <laughs> Maybe for the squirrel room, right? Have some creepy candles. But that's cool. I like that style. Light fix. I don't think I want that candle drill, or however you pronounce that. I'm not quite sure. Ooh, okay. Chandelier. Ooh, yeah, okay, wow. Key toggle. Hmm, okay. Nice write-up, Gonzo. Thank you for that. Um, and you know what, too? Maybe before you open an issue, it might be worth also putting that into the CS channel on Discord. <clears throat> Start a discussion, get feedback. But I think that sounds good, man. Nice. I think this is worth filing an issue over to. Get some eyeballs on it, because that's a feature that would help productivity. A little bit over time, you know, in, in, a, lot, in a big way. Long. That is certainly long. <laughs> yeah, I need something like this, though. Oh, oh, no, I lost my place. Here we go. What I did was there. Plopped it there, and then I immediately typed before clicking back into the scene. And then typing an A because I wanted to move, brought me back to the top of the list. That's something I do all the time, and I feel like is kind of an open MWCS foot gun, at least for my workflow. Wow, so this chandelier, by the way, pretty fancy. I like this one, except for that it's off. Unfortunately, it's not really a tall enough room for a chandelier. It wouldn't work too well. You bump your head in... Excuse me. You bump your head into it. It wouldn't work in here. 
So I'm going to keep those over there as a reference, though. Just got my sea of junk here. This is what I end up doing <laughs> when I'm designing interiors. I just plunk stuff everywhere. All right. No chandelier for that room. <laughs> Tiki, do not use. I'm curious. Okay, nothing special here. I will oblige and not use it. And that is the one that ought to be used. One of the rooms ought to have that for sure. Wow. Okay. Oh, neat. Like a floating rune, I guess? Ward light? That's... Wow. It's the letter. Wow. Some possibilities here with this. Yikes. Trying to write hello, but it's going to be pretty bad. Hello. Ooh, nice. That's, wow. That's like what I'm looking for, though, right? Some way to gate people out of the, wow, that's really cool. Very, very cool. I like that. <clears throat> and, and frankly, yeah, the, the, the models are cool. It's just cool to have the floating letters. Never saw those before. Awesome. Hanging light blue. Okay. I think this is what we want. Ah, thank you. Okay, good call. Firewatch, Guild of Mages. I feel like I have to go there now. We'll load up uh, TR in a bit. And uh, as kind of a preview of tomorrow, we're going to be taking a look at uh, in another gameplay stream. And we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming TR release uh, as a preview of it. So join us. Make sure you join us tomorrow. Yeah, more of these lamps. Okay, I'm going to go up here by my other lamps. Got my lamp jam going on here. Yeah, I like these uh, set in indoral. I really like these. Always like the look and aesthetic of Mornhold quite a bit. It's almost making me consider that kind of as a design basis for the room, right? Start using the indoral Mornhold stuff. Ooh. We may yet be deleting everything once again. Shoulder of ghost light, huh? That's a piece of armor, of course. <laughs> uh, that's actually tempting. Can be like a a cavern, like a true cavern. I feel like those are the fun, most fun interiors, though, right? Like a nice, cl well cluttered cavern. Yeah! Wow! I really like this one. Swim lantern. I mean, 
So it goes in the water, but it would look nice on a table, frankly. Really nice. Wow. I just love these. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> These are nice. They're all nice. <laughs> Awesome. Sweet. Definitely looking forward to that. And Sophie actually suggested, too, that I try out VSG, which is the Vulcan scene graph build of OpenMW. I may try to do that tonight, so stay tuned. We might be playing tomorrow in Vulcan. Who knows? Oh, definitely got to have the dungeon incense. Color code stash sections, yes, I like it. Very good. Like, actually going to be a cohesive design eventually that makes sense in some form. I don't know, I just like... I've always loved these. The guys in the church had, like, the things, you know, when I was young. No, 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 no. Although this probably is a really nice... It's, you know, it's a nice light, but not for the house. Dungeon ruins. These are probably all pretty. Yeah. Not what we're looking for. More incense. Oh, yeah, I really like these ones. Got, like, the resin burner here. That's cool. <laughs> wow, that takes me back. These are really neat. We gotta have a table with at least this one on it. I like this. <clears throat> okay. So. Let's find a table. Mm, stronghold? At the risk, okay, stronghold, like Dunmer stronghold, okay. No, we want back here to, um, no, clutter. Just got a good spread of tables here. Yeah, 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 yeah. A table with like a scaled down rug. All right, Gonzo, scaled down rug on top of it to look like a placemat. Oh, hey, welcome. Rain Black 4444. Mm. I like the tone of this wood, but it definitely doesn't work in that room. I don't think. Oh, I must go back. Yeah, it doesn't work. I'm already using a different wood style. This thing. Desk empty. That's a nice one, but that's not the one I wanted. This one. This pillar doesn't have a reason to exist yet. So we're just going to cast it aside. And 
I want this. I'm thinking over here or right here, right? We lined? Yeah, we lined. Whoop. Yikes. Don't try that at home. It's my uh, letter writing table where I plunk the incense down. And over here, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one. Incense. If I could type. Thank you, Gonzo. Appreciate that. Hmm. So this is the... There's apparently quite a few. Okay, well, we're going to go with 64. I want a big light. We'll tone it down as needed. Excuse me. Actually. Now. The moment of truth. Yeah. All right. I don't know why, but I kind of doubted it was actually going to place it right. Beautiful. It's the little things, right? I put a table down and put a candle on it and I feel good. Uh, okay. We still haven't really gotten a handle on what kind of lights I want to put in there, but boy, there sure are a lot of options. Oh, I like these. These are pretty good. I don't know if it'll fit in the room, but I do like the model. Potion light, huh? Oh, okay, light, yeah. <clears throat> match, false match there. <laughs> that won't work, but that also looks pretty cool. All right, well. It's not exactly a Dunmer room, but I feel like I want paper lanterns in there. So, 
going to go ahead and change my search. I'll delete these later. Still unclear if I actually want this. If I want to pull a new Vegas and do something like this. It can be like the Repcon facility. There you go. There you go. That's an entryway. <laughs> I kid. No, but they actually did that in New Vegas, if you haven't played. That's an actual entrance design used. All right. Cave Lantern. Did I look at this already? I'm here with purpose. Yeah, see, this is where it gets a little tricky to place things. It's just putting everything in the floor. <laughs> oh, I like that. But I don't think it'll fit in the room, and it's not a paper lantern. Nor is that. There we go. That's what I'm feeling. Gonna have to find some rope statics too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Blue two. Oh yeah, you know what? See, here we go again. We have all this lovely choice. Yeah, I think this is the style, right? I like this one the most with the little tassel. For posterity, let's check out number four, though. Ooh, yeah. I mean, that's another... This is a good table light. And then... Five as well. Ooh. <sighs> All right. Gonna be a mix. But I, I think I prefer this one the most. Just kind of get it in the vicinity of the room. Don't make it perfect. There we go. Okay. Good. Ooh, and I almost just want to not beat around the bush with this one. Skew. Just a tad. Okay, good. We got our blue fill there. Green. Next up, green. And yeah, this was, what was this? I want to be mostly consistent. Number three. Come on, you. There we go. And then this other one I think was five that I liked. Yeah, here we go. Five. Oh, yeah, this is going to be... A Probably an annoying room, but we'll see. It will be colorful. Good, good, good. All right. 
I mean, I'm happy. <clears throat> and before we end the stream, we'll go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me, we'll output this and we'll hop in there and see how it looks. Not with Waza light fixes, not just yet, but uh, we'll take a look. And I think in a nutshell, got some great feedback. Thank you, everybody, for helping me kind of put this together as it was. And I think it's starting to actually look like a real design and not just a Johnny warehouse. So very good. I'm happy. All right, let's put some more lights, though. Because we, before we get in there, we got to make it crazy. I mean crazy. And maybe I can not have all of these be 256, right? If it ends up being too intense, I can... I can maybe tone down some of them, maybe, right? Good, good, okay. And then we're gonna bring the purple number five in here too. And like maybe a table or something right here with some more lights on it, like this box form. Maybe, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We'll just get the ceiling lights placed of all the variety of colors. Hmm. Good enough. Get them all kind of just a little bit up. That way I can walk past them when we go in there. Cool. All right. Still got a couple more colors. It seems like not all of them have a number three implementation. Thumbs the brakes. Oh, yellow looks good. I like that. Five. Cool. Right, so I think this is going to be <laughs> something. Nice, okay. Better. I like the oval. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. This is the winner so far. <clears throat> square version that's kind of nice it's like a trip to the furniture store wow <clears throat> I'll note though that the wood doesn't exactly match that but I could live with that no Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
excuse me. Just for now, I'm going to plop a green one down. It's a four. <clears throat> oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So I can probably match them up, right? I've got the two conflicting sets here. I will come back to that. Here we go. This would be a rich set table. Well, right? Too big, though. Also too big. Ooh, I like this. And it will match. Too rugged. That's an outside table. That well, wouldn't really match either. Skyrim style. Okay, I think this is the one. It's quite ornate. Sometimes I can eyeball it. Wow. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. It's easy when you get the, the Tamriel data, OAAB data filters going on, it's easy to forget about the vanilla stuff. That's why I like that they put the vanilla stuff in their test cells. Um, wow. So I think one thing, you know, that has been reaffirmed to me is that clutter is hard. <laughs> Interior design, very hard. Making a cell that makes sense is hard. This doesn't make sense, but I like it. <laughs> I kind of went off the deep end with these lights, but I really just want to see what they look like in game. And um, and I like the incense burner thing too. That's cool. I would have that on my desk. I mean, not really. I wouldn't want to bring that all the time. Well, let's jump in there and see what it looks like. Um, and yeah, just at a high level, you know, I think differently themed rooms, I think are what I'm going to end up going with. Uh, something to kind of fit the content and also maybe like some secret door thing right um similar to what altario was mentioning about the the runes that we got over here the daedric letterings prevent the player from accessing unless they have like a certain item or something some condition that can be arbitrary all right hmm. caps lock whoa Save our work real quick. Bunch of new stuff just kind of... <laughs> this is where it gets a little incomprehensible to read the YAML with human eyes, but that's what I do. Save it. Save that even though it didn't work. Okay, and let's head in game. Wow, yeah. <laughs> this is hideous, but also kind of mesmerizing. Um, so I think I would definitely tone down the lights. Maybe use the 64 light level, right? Like, tone them down. 
one or two over here, one or two over here, one on each table. And I think that would be a little reasonable. But yeah, I just had to see what all this looked like. Um, it's definitely a cacophony and doesn't really look great. But at the same time... <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, the unfinished ether. Oh, my. <laughs> Get a quick look at these. Am I? Uh, yeah, the lighting just looks good. It's the bloom, that bloom shader. Just a little bit on top of the lighting, and it just really looks fantastic. Um, wow, yeah. Yeah, I really like these. Okay. So I think toning down the lights in here is in order. Um going to be going with the colored lights, though, still, and especially with Waza Light. I do want to see this with Waza Light fixes up the intensity a bit and then yeah going with some some thematic elements for the various uh content specific rooms and uh yeah i don't know this is just a for fun thing <laughs> probably nobody else will ever use this but that's not where not really what matters um so yeah cool well i guess we we kind of uh we designed an interior, sort of. We looked at my giant warehouse and we slimmed it down to a more sensible design that one could actually find aesthetically appealing. We looked at a bunch of different statics, all the different content that's available uh, across all the community asset repositories. Got a little bit of decision paralysis while we were doing it uh, and didn't get too far. Um, excuse me, but... Uh, I think we can go back here and, yeah, uh, just highlight what we did today. Uh, we launched a 5.10.4 uh, update for the website, which includes changes for all the lists. So make sure you check it out. Uh, we have the beta of 6.0.0 finally getting out there. Um, it's on the beta version of the website, in fact. Check it out. Um, just so much... Uh, so much content already changed in here and so much more to go. But yeah, just look at this. Boom. <sighs> Boom. Wow. Pretty, really incredible. I almost feel like for this, we need like a cumulative, like how many added, how many removed, how many changed. Um, but yeah, as you can see, just not a small effort. We're really taking it to the next level here um, with some good stuff. So yeah, please uh, thank you for joining as usual i hope you have a lovely day come back tomorrow for the tr release preview tour we're going to be playing the game doing another gameplay stream and thank you again for joining me today and helping me design some rooms happy modding <laughs>